can't go with how you feel. You got to go with who you know. Yeah. And it was God's word. And it was a verse that I had read. Because when you're in a dark time, the verses that you don't read are not going to pop in your head. <laughs> it's like being in fourth grade. I'm not going to study, but I'm going to pray God gives me all the answers. Don't do that. You got to plant truth in your mind. Yeah. Psalm 23 says he's, he prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. It's a verse that came to me in a tough season recently. And I thought, that's the weirdest verse I've ever read. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Have you ever had a dark day? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had days that you feel like everybody's coming at you? All darkness, like H-E double hockey sticks coming at you? <laughs> yeah. You ever had one of those days? Did y'all get that spelling joke from the LD kid? <laughs> I've had those dark days. And when I pray on those days, I'm not praying Jesus shows up with a table. Never. I'm praying God shows up with a sword. You get down here and just lay them out like Lord of the Rings. Just come over the side of the hill. Right? That's how I pray. But if you've been saved for a little while, you know. Sometimes God calms our storms. Sometimes he rides them out with us. Sometimes he shows up with a sword, just like we asked him. Sometimes he sits down next to us and he says, I love you, but this is going to happen. And I'm going to be with you. And you can trust me. You can lean into me. I'm already at the end of this. Looking back on it, we're going to get through this. Yeah. That's... That's a God we have to worship on the sunshine days and on the storm days. Knowing that whether he shows up with a sword or whether he shows up with a table, he always shows up. Amen. Amen.